you've created an amazing pytorch model do you now want to take your pytorch model straight from training to an edge device such as a smartphone or a microcontroller in today's video i'll show you how you can convert your pytorch models straight into tensorflow lite models using google ai edge library so in just a few simple steps you will get your model ready for the future of on device ai let's begin Let's start with the installation section. Before I install Google AI Edge, firstly I'll install all the requirements that are required. So I'll quickly run this cell. I am running this entire piece of code on Google Colab. So if you are trying to replicate this locally, you will have to be mindful of all the libraries that are required, which is where this particular cell execution becomes extremely crucial. Now that all the requirements that we have are satisfied, let me go forward and click on restart session. Now I have my session up and running. Now what I'll quickly do is I require two packages. One is AI Edge Torch and the other is AI Edge Model Explorer. So I'll quickly install these two libraries. Now that the installation is done, let's go over to the import section. So these are all the libraries that we'll require. So I'll quickly run this cell to import all of this in memory. Now that the import section is done, let's move forward. In order to give you an understanding of how the overall conversion is happening, I'll pick a very simple model, which is the ResNet 18 PyTorch model. So all of this is available as a simple library import in the Torch Vision package. So I'll quickly unhide the cell. The first line of code is where I create a variable called as ResNet18. The way that I download the model weights and save it into this variable is where this particular command comes in. So the command goes like this. You have torchvision.models.resnet18. Then you supply the weight values and then you call the eval function. So using this, you will save all the model weights for ResNet18 into this particular variable called as ResNet18. So I'll quickly run the cell. It's a relatively small model. So all of the weights have been saved into this particular variable. Now I have an image of a car. So just to give you context, ResNet18 is a model that classifies input images into one of the thousand categories that it has been trained on. So what I have currently is an image of a car. I'll kind of show you the car first and then we'll go on and see the predictions that the model creates. Okay, so I'll quickly run the cell. So this is the image that I have and now I want to make predictions on this particular image using the ResNet model. So I'll quickly go down. Now the ResNet model expects the input image size to be that of 3,224,224. So in this piece of code, what I'm doing is I am resizing the image. The input image can be of any size, but when I pass it to the ResNet model, it should be of this particular size. Three determines the channels that are there, which is RGB in case of an image. Then this is the height and width, and this is the batch size. So I'm currently sending only one image, which is where this is the output that I'm seeing right now. Again, this piece of code is to convert the image from whatever size it is to a tensor with a specific size, which is compatible with the ResNet 18 model. Okay, so I'll quickly run this cell. Now, when I print the shape of the image tensor, it's basically 1, 3, 224, 224. So the resizing has been successful. Now ResNet18 expects a tuple as input. So I convert this particular tensor into a tuple and I'll save that into a variable called as sample underscore inputs. Now I'll kind of take predictions from the ResNet18 model by passing in this input to the model. So I'll quickly run the cell. Now torch output will be a set of probabilities just so that everyone's on the same page. I'll quickly create a code here. So torch output, if I run this is a set of tensors, which are basically nothing else but values for all the thousand classes that are there. So if I go here and if I show you the length of this particular tensor or this particular torch output, 
so here you have the output equal to 1000 so so for the 1000 classes that the torch 18 has been trained on it's basically giving you some values now if i have to predict which class it belongs to i basically require a label uh, which is what is available here in the imagenet simple labels.json file which i'll download Now the labels are downloaded and I have a variable called as labels up and running. Now from the raw values that I have, I will use softmax and top k to give me the class which has the maximum probability and using the index of the maximum probability, I'll then output the class that is there. Okay. So when I run this, I'll get the prediction category of this particular image that I've inputted. Okay. So let me run this. So here is the output. The predicted category is basically a pickup truck with probability 0.5507. Okay. Now I've shown you base PyTorch model that I have kind of taken as it is. What you can also do is you can create your own custom PyTorch model and then convert it using Google AI Edge. Okay. Now let's go forward. Now let's go to the conversion section. So let me quickly unhide this particular cell. So here the conversion is literally one line of code. The way you start off the conversion is AI underscore edge underscore torch dot convert. You pass in the model, which is the input model. And you also have to pass in the sample inputs. Okay. So let's quickly convert our PyTorch model into a TF Lite compatible model. Perfect. The conversion has happened. Let's go and check the inferences as well. So I'll quickly unhide the cell. Now I have the edge model with me. The sample inputs remain the same and I'll have the edge output created. So I'll quickly run the cell. The edge output will again be a list or a representation with 1000 values. So let's check what exactly it is. So it's basically a numpy array with numbers again. And if I show you the length of this. It's again 1000. So you have 1000 entries. Now what I have to do is for extracting the top category. I again have to follow the same process. Find out the argument with the maximum value. Take the index and then output that index from the label that we've created. So when I run this. It tells me that the category is pickup truck. So both the models in our case, that is the PyTorch model as well as the TF Lite model are giving me same results. Now, if I have to validate the results based on the values or the tensors that are being created, all I have to do is I have to call np.allclose torch output dot detach dot numpy. So I'm converting my torch output into numpy. And I have my edge output, which is already in the form of a numpy array. I set a threshold value. And if all the values are in the same range, that is for the PyTorch model, as well as for the TF Lite model, then the conversion is basically successful, right? So I'll quickly run this cell. So it says inference result with PyTorch and TF Lite was within tolerance. So there's not a lot of difference between both the models. Okay. Now, if you have to use this particular model, you will have to export this model in a usable format, which is where what you have to do is you have to call the export command, pass in the file name and that's about it. So when I run this, just so that I show you that the model is ready, I'll quickly go to files and here is the model that I have, which is a TF Lite model. Now, if you want to visualize the model that you've created, then you can start using the AI Edge Model Explorer. So given that I have a file, I will call the visualize function from the model underscore explorer library and I'll pass in this particular TF Lite model. So I'll quickly run this cell. So here is where you can see the entire model. So I'll quickly go inside the model as well. And this is how the overall ResNet model is defined. Imagine having this kind of a capability for your custom model wherein you want to visualize the model. All of this can be done using AI Edge Model Explorer.
Well, this is all that I had in today's video. I wanted to show you the power of how you can quickly convert your PyTorch models into TF Lite model using Google AI Edge. Thank you so much for watching this video.